Have you ever wondered how a bomber from your grandfather's generation could dominate modern battlefields for over 60 years, forcing even the most advanced enemy air defense systems to remain on high alert? The answer lies far beyond mere rugged durability. The story of the H-6 is a microcosm of China's aviation industry journey, from technology introduction and assimilation to independent innovation, and a legendary tale of extracting the utmost potential from a traditional platform. While most observe its somewhat bulky appearance and lengthy service record, they often overlook its continuously evolving capabilities, capabilities potent enough to disrupt regional strategic balances. Its longevity stems from a convergence of shrewd strategic choices, relentless industrial upgrades, and clearly defined tactical requirements. Low maintenance costs merely provided the surface level factor allowing it to weather the years in hangars. What truly transformed it into an enduring force were the hidden weapons quietly mounted beneath its wings and the evolving strategic role assigned by the Chinese Air Force over time. Rewind to the late 1950s, China's fledgling aviation industry reached a pivotal milestone with the introduction of the Soviet 216 medium jet bomber. In 1959, the first H-6, assembled with Soviet components, successfully completed its maiden flight, marking China's entry into the jet bomber era. At the time, this aircraft, capable of speeds exceeding 900 km per hour, carrying several tons of ordnance over thousands of kilometers, undoubtedly symbolized aerial power. Yet its initial variants undeniably suffered from limited range, rudimentary electronics, and a single weapon system. It was precisely on this seemingly ordinary platform, the China's aviation pioneers embarked on a journey of extensive modifications spanning over half a century. Early modifications were constrained by industrial limitations, focusing primarily on domestic production and reliability enhancements. It wasn't until 1968, when full domestic production was achieved, that the H-6 truly became a reliable long-range strike asset for China. In the 1990s, driven by shifts in China's defense strategy and advancements in military technology, the H-6 upgrade entered a fast lane. This transformation went beyond merely installing new radars and navigation equipment. It marked a fundamental shift from a strike platform to a core node of the weapons system. The emergence of the H-6H, G variants significantly enhanced its precision strike capabilities against ground and maritime targets. Reinforced missile pylons were added beneath the fuselage, enabling it to carry early generation cruise missiles and anti-ship missiles. This equipped the aircraft with rudimentary capabilities to launch attacks from beyond enemy air defense zones. This change is profoundly significant, allowing the H-6 to avoid the fate of its Soviet predecessor. High-risk low-altitude bombing runs under intense anti-aircraft fire while dramatically improving survivability and tactical flexibility. However, the true leap forward came with the H-6K, War God, which first flew in 2007 and entered service in 2009. This variant represents a complete transformation, equipped with Russian-made D-30KP2 turbofan engines. It not only achieves significantly increased thrust and reduced fuel consumption, but also extends its effective range to over 8,000 kilometers, greatly expanding its combat radius. Extensive use of composite materials reduces weight and enhances strength. The distinctive glass navigator's canopy at the nose was replaced by a large radar dome housing a powerful new radar and a fully glass cockpit digital interface. The tail self-defense turret and outdated navigator's compartment were eliminated, freeing space for increased fuel capacity and improved avionics integration. These enhancements have transformed the H-6K from the inside out. It is no longer merely an upgraded variant, but a new bomber with formidable modern combat capabilities. The subsequent naval variant, the H-6J, further enhanced anti-ship capabilities. The emergence of the H-6N, equipped with aerial refueling capability, and even the ability to carry air-launched ballistic missiles, elevated its strategic value to new heights marking the H-6 series official entry into the realm of strategic nuclear deterrence. So what enables this aging platform to remain a mainstay amid today's rapidly evolving technology? Low maintenance costs are undoubtedly a fundamental advantage. Its simple structure and familiar technical condition, coupled with a fully domestic supply chain, ensure ample and economical parts availability. Compared to cutting-edge stealth fighters requiring climate-controlled hangars, and specialized stealth coating maintenance, the H-6 routine upkeep resembles an experienced veteran caring for his rifle, clear procedures and controllable costs. This enables the Chinese Air Force and Naval Aviation to maintain a massive fleet of H-6 bombers. Currently, over 200 H-6 variants remain in active service, 
representing an exceptionally high proportion of the world's operational bombers. Quantity itself constitutes a formidable quality. In integrated combat operations, such a vast fleet can orchestrate saturation missile attacks that would overwhelm any adversary. Imagine dozens or even hundreds of H-6K J bombers, each carrying six long-range supersonic anti-ship missiles or cruise missiles. A single sortie could unleash hundreds of precision-guided munitions onto a target area. This missile flood tactic poses a lethal threat to aircraft carrier strike groups or critical regional defense systems. The foundation for all these tactical possibilities lies in the hidden weapons systems. The H-6 series' greatest potency no longer lies in its fuselage bomb bays, but in the diverse launch pods beneath its wings. Four maritime targets, the YJ-12 supersonic heavy anti-ship missile serves as its standard armament, capable of speeds exceeding Mach 3 and ranges of hundreds of kilometers. This missile is a nightmare for modern naval air defense systems. Even more striking is the YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship ballistic missile, which debuted in recent years. Carried by the H-6 and variant, it features either a double cone or wave riding configuration, achieving extremely high terminal attack speeds that make interception nearly impossible. Internationally, it is regarded as one of the carrier killer weapons capable of rewriting the rules of naval warfare. Four land attack missions, the CJ-20 cruise missile serves as the H-6K's primary weapon. With a range exceeding 2,000 kilometers and high precision, the H-6K can strike deep penetration, high-value targets with pinpoint accuracy from secure inland or maritime zones without crossing enemy borders. As for the H-6N, its capability to carry air-launched ballistic missiles directly grants China's airborne strategic nuclear forces rapid response and second strike capabilities, underscoring its undeniable strategic deterrence value. Furthermore, the integrated testing of new weapons, like the CM-401 anti-ship ballistic missile, demonstrates the H-6 platform's substantial potential for weapon adaptability. It is precisely these continuously updated, exponentially more powerful airborne weapon systems that embue each sortie of this veteran aircraft with formidable modern warfare capabilities that cannot be underestimated. Of course, we must objectively acknowledge the H-6 limitations. Lacking stealth capabilities, its penetration survivability remains challenging against formidable adversaries with sophisticated integrated air defense systems. Its maximum range and payload capacity still fall short compared to large strategic bombers like the US B-52H and Russian Tu-160. However, the Chinese Air Force cleverly compensates for the platform's inherent shortcomings through integrated warfare thinking. The H-6 rarely ventures into hostile territory alone. Instead, it operates as a long-range precision strike node guided by robust intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance systems, and supported by escort and support from early warning command aircraft, electronic warfare aircraft, and fighter jets. Its mission is to launch long-range, high-precision, high-power missiles from relatively safe airspace, allowing the missiles to complete the final penetration and attack. This platform plus missile model maximizes strengths while mitigating weaknesses, enabling a non-stealth platform to maintain critical utility in modern warfare. Looking ahead, with China's next-generation stealth strategic bomber, the H-20, on the horizon, the H-6 series appears poised to eventually hand over the baton. Even so, its retirement will be far from swift. A more likely scenario is that some early variants will gradually withdraw from frontline service. Meanwhile, the latest upgraded models like the H-6K, N, J, leveraging their outstanding performance, substantial existing fleet, and deep integration with current combat systems, will continue to operate alongside stealth bombers for a considerable period. This will create a complementary configuration where older and newer aircraft work together, forming a high-low mix that complements each other's strengths and weaknesses.